Um, some of my key takeaways from these sessions, I it, it really spoke to me speaking with Desiree about um, all of the patient experience and then how she's really helping to manage that interface between the schedulers and the patients and what they experience and also meeting the needs of the providers. So I think it's critically important that whatever we're designing, we're helping the schedulers to do their job without errors. That's what they want to do. That's what we want of them. And I think that we, this is the perfect opportunity to really change those workflows and to make it easy for them to, to do their job. And some of that is with the simplification that we've talked about. If there's not as many choices, then it's going to be easier that they can make the right selection. Um, that might also enable them that they're not so restricted. I can only schedule for this specialty. I think if they can schedule across more groups, that's going to help because they know that there's systems in place and backup within the system that make sure they're not making errors. Um, and then one thing that Kellyanne actually said about Atreus was that making sure that the schedulers have the right level of security. So some of this <laughs> goes along with errors, but if they have the ability to override things, then they might not turn out as you expect. Or maybe if they don't have the ability to override things, the process isn't going to go as you expect either. So really paying attention that their security and access matches what you're expecting them to do. And then I also feel like I've heard a lot about um, all the scheduling, it impacts your day of flow. If you can stay on time, if you are having a good day, you're not overburdened as a provider. And I think we've approached that in the past of providers are maybe trying to design the perfect day for them and they might use rules and different things that affect this. But when they're designing their perfect day where I only have two highly complex neurology appointments that could lead to other experiences for patients. If I only allow two, then all of a sudden the highly complex patients are scheduled out for two months. Or maybe it's the vice versa. The highly complex are the only ones that can get in. So really paying attention to the design decisions and how that's affecting the patient access to their services. Joe? 